Brock Hoffman and TJ Bass delivered great games against the Washington Commanders, while Tyler Smith and Zach Martin were sidelined. We saw these two in action last year, where they both showed solid performances. And once again, they stepped up and impressed. With Zach Martin approaching retirement, it's reassuring to see the potential in these two players. What's great about Brock Hoffman, TJ Bass, and Cooper BB? TJ Bass brings versatility across all left side positions, while Cooper BB and Brock have played center and guard in college. This versatility is impressive, and it's something that we should all watch closely going forward. Going into next season, I believe that we'll see a lot more of Brock and TJ. So on this play here, we see excellent positioning from all three interior linemen and their effective hand usage. They create a rush lane for Rico Dowdle, leading to a positive game. And it's great to see Dowdle getting into rhythm, especially given the challenges at running back this year. The offensive line's cohesion and physicality makes it easier for quarterback Cooper Rush. And this is what we love to see when it comes down to our offense. So activating the system. So running this play here, they're getting off the ball, and all four offensive linemen are combo blocking. And it's so good to be able to see that when it comes down to guys like Cooper BB. We know that he brings a lot of physicality, but when you implement Hoffman and TJ Bass in there, and they're playing with that same kind of energy, it is definitely a good look for the offense. But looking at the positioning that they're setting themselves up with, it's so good to be able to see it because the chemistry is there. And zooming in on the hands of Cooper BB and Brock Hoffman, that right there is what stopped those defensive linemen from being able to close in and get to Rico Dowdle. And Rico Dowdle is one of those players, if he sees it, he has enough speed to be able to hit it and go. But it's funny because TJ Bass, he's still attacking that defender. He tried to pancake him, but it's good to see that he was playing to the whistle, trying to find a way to be able to completely remove that player out the play. But he did end up making the tackle, but not before Rico Dotto was able to get about six or seven yards. And when you do have a positive run game like this, it can make things so much better for guys like Cooper Rush. And that goes for any quarterback in the league because a positive run game can be able to set up play action and it can keep the whole playbook open. But seeing all three of those guys understanding the assignment, getting in position, and using their hands to be able to keep those defenders away from Rico Dotto, it was definitely a big time play. And it doesn't always got to be the chunk plays. Can you be an offensive line to get effective yards per clip? So seeing all three of them be on point and get into position, this ended up being a great rep by those three. Here's another rep that I really like where BB and TJ Bass defended against the stunt play. Brock Hoffman handled his one-on-one -on -one matchup well, but the patience and the football IQ shown by both BB and Bass really stood out. And these are crucial skills I look for when analyzing film. Since NFL defenses frequently use stunt plays, something Brock and TJ Bass will face more often if they get increased playing time. So we're going to split it. So running this play here, locking in on Bass and BB, these two defensive tackles, they're twisting and they're running quick stunts. And it's so good to see the attention and detail when it comes down to both of these guys. Because usually with offensive linemen, when they do see a stunt play, they could end up being clumsy. And next thing you know, that could be the biggest difference on the rep. But picking up that stunt, it allowed Cooper Rush to get through his progressions and complete that pass to CeeDee Lamb. And these are the things that we have to look out for when it comes down to playing a rookie center, as well as a guard and TJ Bass, who has not had a lot of experience out there. And seeing Brock Hoffman, he did a nice job against that blitz and safety. The good thing is when you're going up against a Dan Quinn, we have an understanding of what they do pre-snap. So it's not just about the players on these plays. Coaching played a big part as well. And with TJ Bass and Brock Hoffman, these are the games where you're going to be going up against some top defensive tackles. Deron Payne is no slouch. So you have to be able to get down to your technique. You cannot be overly aggressive because they find ways to be able to disengage and give these offensive linemen problems. But to see TJ Bass being patient and working off of Cooper BB, it ended up being another good look for this offensive line. On that last play, I showcased TJ Bass and BB. Check out this play with Brock Hoffman. Similar to the last rep, his peripheral vision and patience to pick up the stunt are on display. He noticed Deron Payne's delayed movement and senses something off about his approach. Hoffman keeps his eye on the corner, spots the defender trying to loop in, recognizes the stunt, and effectively keeps the defender out of the play. This is exactly what you want to see from your interior players, Cowboys Nation. So we'll go ahead and run it. So watching this play here, just looking at Deron Payne firing off. And you see he's not really giving that much effort, but seeing Brock Hoffman, he's looking out the corner of his eye and he quickly understands that it's a stunt play. Picking up number four and completely wiping them out the play. And this is what you want to see when it comes down to Brock Hoffman as well, with Cooper Rush going out there and getting the ball to Brooks. 
And I would like to see more from this wide receiver. I think that he is a good player, but he's one of those guys that's going to have to get implemented into the system. The same thing with Turbo Turpin. But these are the reasons why I really love watching film. I love to watch these players' movements pre-snap. What are they doing with their eyes? Do they understand what these defenses are trying to do to them? This is how you can be able to get more playing time on the field. Because there are a ton of players in the NFL now that are not seeing the field like this. And I'm not saying that it's perfect with TJ Bass or Brock Hoffman. There were a couple of plays where the defensive line got the advantage. But the only way these two players are going to get better is if they're getting playing time and if they're lining up against these starting defenses. And it's crazy because they actually saw play time last year together playing against the Washington Commanders. So I'm sure that the coaching staff had these guys ready to go. Already having experience duking it out with players like Deron Payne. If you want to see some of the best Dallas Cowboys helmets and upgrade your man cave or your room, check out Green Gridiron's page in the description. These helmets are torch, available in mini or regular size with the visors, and they are built to last a lifetime. Click the link and use promo code JC Network for a discount on these amazing helmets. Now let's get back to the film session. With Luke Schoonmaker, I was happy to see that he was making an impact in this game while Jake Ferguson was injured. We need these tight ends to step up. It is huge. The play ended up being a touchdown in the seams, but seeing the wall the interior offensive line built to keep Cooper Rush comfortable in the pocket to make a great throw was definitely one of the better highlights in this game. So we'll go ahead and spin it. So running this play here, just watching the entire offensive line. Brock Hoffman, he's going up against Deron Payne. He's doing his job. Then you have TJ Bass and Cooper BB. They're double team blocking on top of Austin Richards. I didn't even know he even got in the game, but he did make a big time play right here because he rolled his defender outside the pocket, keeping Cooper Rush comfortable, and it bought time for him to be able to deliver a strike to Luke Schoonmaker. Cash. And with Schoonmaker, I am really rooting for this player. There has been some good with him, but there has been some bad that came with it. And we all know with Mike McCarthy's offense, they love to run 12 personnel, 13 personnel, but you need a tight end to be able to step up if they're going to be able to run that offense fluently. But to see the offensive line do their job, Cooper Rush find the hole in the defense, and Luke Schoonmaker finish that play, it was fireworks. And these are the type of plays here that can be able to change games and build confidence. So as far as the offensive line and Schoonmaker, that is definitely a green light. So this rep here had to be one of my favorites. It's a run play by Rico. And watching TJ, Brock, and BB work together to create a beautiful rush lane really showed their chemistry. Seeing them in sync like this will definitely get you fired up about their potential as a unit. So let's run it. So running this play here, I had to zoom it in from the side just so y'all can see exactly what all three of these guys are doing. TJ Bass and Cooper BB, they're climbing up. Brock Hoffman is doing his job. But the important thing about this rep is watching Cooper BB get into position, creating that wall and making it hard for all three of those defensive linemen to get to Rico Dowdle. But not only Cooper, TJ Bass, and Brock Hoffman putting themselves in position to be effective on this play was fireworks. And it's so exciting to be able to see these guys on the offensive line being so young and not having experience in real live games. It's going to be exciting to see if they can be able to grow with each other because it does take time. Same thing with Tyler Guyton. He's going to be going up against premier defensive ends week in and week out. So iron sharpens iron. Going up against Micah Parsons is going to get him better. These interior linemen lining up against Odegizua, Mozzie Smith, Goldston, it can put all three of these players in position to get to where they want to go. So seeing these players go out there and play hard was good to see. Regardless of their record, we know that this team has a lot of work to do, but seeing Brock and TJ hold it down without Zach and Tyler Smith was awesome. You have to continue to stack it all together and have that grit and determination and prove that you have what it takes to get it done.
final play here, we see another quick rep where Brock Hoffman shows great understanding of positioning and gets in the way effectively. Sometimes that's all you need for running backs to slice it up the field for a nice chunk play. So we're going to run it. So running this play here, these guys are getting off the ball. And you see Brock Hoffman, he's trying to cut them off. You see his left arm, he kind of wrapped around him. Usually they do call holding calls on that. But seeing him just ride right behind that defender, walling him off and keeping him distracted. And that brought time for Rico Dottle to cut it up the field. And the better offensive lineman in the league, sometimes all you need to do is get in the way of these defenders. But seeing Brock Hoffman and TJ Bass step up this game, maybe they don't have to go reach for a guy in the first round. Because if you can be a player that can be able to be effective in a pass game, the run game, you can get down to the second level, as well as being a quick thinker, these are the traits that you want to see with your centers, your left guard, and your right guard. So with Brock and TJ, they definitely earned it this past game. So with the Dallas Cowboys this season, it has absolutely been tough. We know that they have a lot of athletes on the field but it's not going to just come down to the athletes. You got to have the proper coaching and put these guys in position. Brock Hoffman did a very good job. And when you're seeing the numbers from TJ Bass per PFF, you graded out as a 75.8 offensive grade, which was eighth, 69.8 run blocking grade, 82.7 pass blocking grade, and zero pressures allowed, which was tied first. That means a lot when you're going up against Deron Payne and Dan Quinn implementing those stunts with his defense. So there is a lot of work to do when it comes down to this offensive line. Experience will be key, but this team as a whole is going to have to get back to what they do best. It has been a tough season, but it's Dallas Cowboys for life all day, every day. So this team did a good job as a whole finishing those commanders. So comment below and let me know what you guys think about Brock and TJ's performance. And do y'all think that they could be able to build from this going forward? So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and the best Cowboys film sessions on YouTube. All right, Cowboys Nation. Talk to y'all soon. Gone.